All right, so you want to hear some more depressing stuff. All right, so this is, um, obviously, you want to hear some about the, um, from Mr., uh, I always forget his name. I'm always like Gareth Edwards, Gareth Evans, whatever. Um, but anyways, <laughs> you know me, I'm like, I always like blank on, I always get them confused right here. But here we go right here. This is uh, an interview right here talking about, of course, the Deathstroke, the Deathstroke movie that once was. So take a listen and hopefully you don't. Hopefully you don't weep too much, but man, I tell you, I mean, yeah. Also another thing too, is like, I don't know. I don't know if it's Evans. Sorry. Yeah, it is Evans, right? It's also, you know, I mean, I don't know how possible it would be to get the Deathstroke movie to come out, but, um, yeah, I, it just, it, it, this is kind of heartbreaking when you hear this, but here it is. Three, or do you want me to ask you about <laughs> Deathstroke? Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind oh, doing fuck. both. I'll, I'll cover both because whichever one we cover on this one, my DMs or my the comments will end up asking me about the other anyway. Um, look, I when it comes to Deathstroke, which is the quicker answer, uh, I got approached by about it. Um, I didn't hundred percent know a lot about the character at the time, so I did a deep dive mm-hmm. and started reading a bunch of materials. Uh, thought it was cool, had a cool concept idea for sort of like a really lean, like, you know, nothing more than a hundred minutes uh, origin story that would feel really kind of like within the vein of the sort of the Korean noir films that I was watching at the time and um, really into. And and so I was like, oh, okay, I can do something with this and, and, and make something kind of cool with it. I spoke to the guys at uh, DC about it and, and they were they were into it. They were, they were, they, they, they liked the concept. And I spoke to Joe, who was supposed to be playing the lead at that time. And then I think, I think justice league came out and um, fucked everything up. And then I think there was a change Ugh. of personnel. Yeah. And then suddenly death stroke stopped being the priority project for them. Ugh. And so mm. I think they were trying to reconfigure things and then see if they could go in a different direction, with some of the projects or whatever, or tonally shift things. Ugh. And so then in the end, I found myself in a position where, uh, with Deathstroke, where uh, it just kind of fell by the wayside and then, you know, didn't have any follow up. And so I was kind of like, OK, I guess this is just not happening now. And so th- and that's just really where it's been since then. So it's kind of just like hung in the ether somewhere. Ugh. Ugh. God damn it. Fucking Warner Brothers. Jesus Christ. But yeah, there you go robbed of it so there's him talking about that we have already heard you know we've heard joe mang talk about it i mean on the last justice con he talked about certain things you know obviously it did have batgirl in it or no this is talking about the batman but then of course he talked about his origin story when it came to uh slade and how he wanted to pretty much ground it he wanted to ground it as much as possible and uh yeah it sucks it sucks it would have been something special i love the fact that he has a police story too uh picture behind him right there um yeah i like that but man i know man well i mean we can just thank you joss whedon (laughs) i mean it's not just him of course but you know when that whole thing happened i mean i mean jesus christ but that sucks three or do you want me to ask you about (laughs) yeah we were definitely robbed we were robbed